Hello everyone. In this video, we'll take a look at what motion reprojection is and the balance settings I'm currently using. Motion reprojection is a technique that helps VR games run more smoothly by generating intermediate frames when the frame rate is low. Some users have reported that disabling motion reprojection in MSFS 2020 VR settings improved their performance and reduced stuttering. Motion reprojection is a way of improving VR performance and reducing motion sickness by creating synthetic frames when the frame rate drops below the refresh rate of the headset. It uses motion vectors generated by the GPU to estimate how the scene will look like in the next frame. There are different types of motion reprojection, such as time warp, space warp, and motion smoothing, that have different advantages and disadvantages. Motion reprojection can help VR games run more smoothly, but it can also introduce visual artifacts or latency. Visual artifacts are distortions or glitches that appear in the synthetic frames generated by motion reprojection. They can occur when the motion vectors are inaccurate or when there are fast-moving objects or complex geometry in the scene. Some examples of visual artifacts are ghosting, smearing, flickering, or stretching. Latency is the delay between the user's input and the output on the screen. Motion reprojection can increase latency because it adds an extra step in the rendering pipeline and relies on previous frames to create new ones. Latency can cause motion sickness or reduce immersion in VR. There are some possible ways to reduce visual artifacts caused by motion reprojection. One way is to adjust the application resolution or graphic settings to achieve a higher frame rate, which will reduce the need for motion reprojection. Another way is to use the latest version of OpenXR, which has improved the motion vector quality and reduced the ghosting effect. So I will show you the value set based on my computer specifications.